Hello YouTubies, this is King Scrab and thanks for watching all my most bodacious, amazing YouTube videos. And this is going to be quite an insane story I've got for you. But, you know, when you wake up in the morning, guys, now listen, this is to the guys out there, not to the women or the girls. Because women and girls tend to be a little bit more sensible when it comes to dealing with complicated defrosting of freezers. Um, never think it's a good idea just because all your food has gone off in the fr freezer and for whatever reason this means you're going to have to chuck £80 worth of food away. Don't then start taking it out on the ice with a hammer. I mean this is what I learned today because I thought well I know what I'm doing here. <laughs> you know when you say you know what you're doing or you know this is a good idea and it turns out to be one of the worst ideas you've ever had in your life uh, or close to it. Yeah, it's one of those times for me, and I had this today. I suddenly decided that, you know, I'm not going to hit the fr freezer too hard. I'm just going to crack open the ice quickly, and we'll get this done in about 10 minutes, yeah? Um, unfortunately, life doesn't work that way, and neither do freezers. Uh, a freezer against a sledgehammer is not a good idea, certainly not, and even a hammer is not a good idea, which is what I was using. And I was trying to be sensible, I was trying to, you know, use the, the hammer in a sensible way so it wouldn't actually break anything, but it was clearly breaking the ice. And then suddenly, I hit the part where you're not supposed to hit. With anything. <laughs> and, uh, of course, what happened? All the gas, compressed gas started coming out. I hit the bottom of the fridge. And unfortunately, that means a new fri freezer. Uh, there's nothing I can do about that, there's no way to fix it unless you can get a spare part from somebody else's freezer and even then the bottom of the compartments of the fridge freezer is damaged so the gas is still going to be able to come out. It's not something that can be fixed now. It's too dangerous, the freezer has to go, we have to get a new one. Of course I made some mir miraculous story to Phoebe <laughs> what could have happened to that freezer. But of course I'm going to have to pay for it because I actually broke it. Okay, fair enough. Uh, but it's not a great idea to use a hammer on the freezer. I I'm telling you this now, I've learnt my lesson. It's not the first time I've actually done something really stupid. Uh, but this is the first time I've actually done something stupid that could have been remedied by actually using a bloody brain cell. <laughs> so, um, we're getting a new freezer soon, so it's not a problem. Uh, it's ten years old anyway, so it's not like it's uh, that good. I mean, it wasn't working perfectly before, uh, but we didn't really need to replace it today. <laughs> But now it does need to be replaced. I take me outside. The smell of gas was terrible, so I had to take you outside pretty quickly uh, because it can be a little bit dangerous, some of the gas inside it, so we had to vent the room and close the door. Um, yeah, quite an insane day. Uh, inst insane start. It's all, t all to the lads out there. You know, you, you think you're being smart with a hammer against the freezer. You're not. It, it, the freezer is back for life if you use a hammer against it. Uh, I've learnt my lesson, trust me I'm in my thirties now so I know what I'm talking about. Um, I also managed in 2009, uh, was it 2011 actually, I'm not sure, it was one of those days. Um, I was playing with a Nintendo Willy uh, and you know when you're flipping it around, yeah, um, <laughs> big TV, whoops. <laughs> Uh, that was that was a fucking pain in the ass week. I'm telling you, that. I had a real lot of problems that week. Uh, possibly one of the worst mistakes I've ever made in my life. Not the worst day, but it wasn't good. <laughs> wasn't pleased about it. Uh, neither was the person who owned the TV. <laughs> so uh, we managed to get that fixed. Uh, it's not too much of a problem. But uh, it's just some things, some you know, general advice from people who've actually learned a lesson <laughs> in life. Uh, I suppose people have done worse things than that. You know, there's people killed, people etc. is worse. But uh, this is just the days I don't really want to have. Uh, it's not too serious because you can replace a freezer for just a hundred quid or so. It's not that bad, but it is pretty annoying. <laughs> um, so, if my girlfriend kills me, uh, I might not come onto YouTube for a while. 
if her mum kills me, I might not come on to you. But I don't already know anyway. You know, they know what's happened. Uh, and my story seems to hold up. <laughs> you know, when you come up with a great story, when you broke something, the cat did it. Um, it was the no, no, no. That window, uh, that football didn't break that window, mate. Uh, that window was already broke when I came here. Uh, I saw three lads running away. They were holding a brick in their hand. Yeah. You're shaking like this. <laughs> that was those lads over there. <laughs> the guy said, "Why are you shaking?" Oh, I've got Parkinson's disease at the age of 14. <laughs> <coughs> you come up with some of the wor worst excuses ever. Oh, oh no! Your, your, TV, your 48 TV inch TV was broken when I got here, mate. There was a big crack in the screen already. Um, I don't know. So. If that happens, you know, if you do actually break the um, the uh, <laughs> the gas chamber of your f freezer, it means a new freezer, uh, unless you can actually get some more someone to actually plumb it up and uh, put gas back into it. It's not worth it. It's far better just to get a new freezer. It works better and. Uh, they're, they're a lot better. Plus, it's ten years old. We'll have to get a new one eventually, anyway. It's not the biggest problem I've ever had, but it's kind of embarrassing. It's not something you want to do on a regular basis. So I've learned now that you can't use a hammer on a TV; doesn't work. You can't use a hammer on a computer; doesn't work. Uh, kicking and punching your microwave doesn't work. If your if your car doesn't work. Um, Using a hammer to try to get the engine to run doesn't usually work, and uh, your freezer or fridge doesn't really do well when it gets hit with a hammer. It's not like I was going crazy. It wasn't like a, you know I was coming downstairs and I was absolutely nuts and smashing it apart with a bloody hammer. I wasn't. I was doing it very delicately. I was doing it very experienced. I mean, I was like an expert at this. Uh, but unfortunately, my expertise was a little bit low and a little bit dumb uh, because nobody's got to do that as an expert. They just got to turn it off and say, "Listen, just wait for it to defrost a little bit, then start." The, the ice will just melt off; it'll just fall off. You'll be able to do it easily. But I didn't do that. I suppose I was a little bit annoyed that all my food went off. Uh, there's not much you can do about that. I need to replace it all. Fine, uh, that's what I should have done. Um, but now that can't be done. That's that's it. That's the end of my marvelous YouTube video. Uh, so, King Scribe, 2009 to 2013. Uh, you never know what's going to happen next. <laughs> <It's> like, <coughs> I've got a bit of cold, by the way. That's not the gas trying to kill me, by the way, because there was some gas in there. Now the gas can be poisonous, but if it was that poisonous, it would have done some damage by now. Uh, we've got everything vented, so don't worry about it. I'm not coughing up blood. It's just a bit of phlegm that I spat out into Phoebe's food. No problem. End of the video. I'll see you guys later. I've just had a bad day. Uh, so if anybody else out there on YouTube has had a similar experience to me of breaking a TV, a 48-inch TV, or breaking a freezer, and all of them somebody else's, uh, <laughs> please leave a comment down below and tell me how you actually remedied it. Uh, because it's very difficult to actually do. Uh, luckily we actually shared a cost in this house anyway, so it's not like a big deal. Uh, it's only a fridge, it can be replaced and we can replace it. Uh, but it's something you don't want to happen, so I'll see you later. All right.